It's episode 6 of the New York City Vlog, and in this video, I'm going to show you all things Italian, including our visit through Little Italy. After walking the High Line, we happened to stumble upon Vito's Slices and Ices. We were quite hungry, and after a couple days in New York, we really hadn't found yet that perfect slice of pizza. Vito's had slices of pizza between three and five dollars, and they were actually really delicious. So this Vito's have homemade Italian ice, and you can taste the homemade in the fruit flavoring. It's not just syrup, and it was so friggin' amazing. Really, really good Italian ice. So I keep saying again and again that that Italian ice at Vito's was so friggin' good, and I went to the counter to compliment them on how delicious it was, and she said, you must try the coconut or cremolata. And they gave us a sample and it was heavenly. So put that on your list if you're in this area. Next up, we head down to Madison Square Park near the Flatiron Building and visit Italy. In addition to all these amazingly beautiful buildings is a really pretty park. And there's an Italy back here. You know, the Italy from well, it probably originated here, but they opened one in Las Vegas and I had always wanted to go there and I never did get a chance. So they've got one here and maybe we'll stop by there for some dessert. Italy has an incredible selection of, there's a coffee bar, an espresso bar, there's a gelato bar, there's pastries and desserts and it's a beautiful store. There's stuff from all over Italy. It it's a so huge good. store and it tastes so good. There we go. Mm. Cut away. We came back to Italy. They have such a delicious variety to choose from. So there's about an hour wait at the patio table out front at the restaurant. So we decided to get some ice cream and coffee and sit at the park and relax and then they will text us when our table's ready. This is a really neat area, the Flatiron District is a really neat area of New York City and Madison Square Park is lovely. So my daughter noticed there's four people and they're just standing still over here but I think there's a sign but if they break out in a flash mob dance crew, I will film them. Let's see, right there. Do you see them standing there? It's a thunder down under no. <laughs> Okay, so they are doing something. It looks like maybe Tai Chi. I'm a little far away. There's four of them standing there and I'm, let's see. Do you see them? Let's see if I can put my finger in the thing. Oh, 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 right here, right here. Hands in prayer position. I can't hold the camera still enough. And... Hands in prayer position again. Forward. And together. If you're interested in eating at the patio dining restaurant at Italy, make sure you make reservations. We did not make reservations and it's been about an hour and 15 minutes and we're still waiting for a table. There are several places you can eat inside Italy. They have different little pockets of restaurants inside and then there's plenty of places you can get your food and then you can come out to the park across the street. And there's plenty of places to sit and relax out here and eat. But make your reservations if you wanna eat at the table out front. We finally got seated. It was a long wait, but we were greeted by this nice lady going around giving samples of vanilla gelato with olive oil. That was very interesting. The calamari is a must. It was quite delicious. And it looks like the menu items are seasonal. Only one of the items we ordered was still on the menu today. sitting here at our dinner and there's a massive crowd and they're chanting coming down the road. We'll see if they come by here soon. Never know. 
know what you're gonna see around here. There's always a surprise on the streets of New York. You probably can't even hear me because it's so loud. Okay guys, we're going to take a walking tour of Little Italy and then I get to pick my favorite restaurant out of everything we see this evening. Stick around to the end and you'll see where we went. The hosts of these restaurants really work it for your business to come out and really try to sell the place. It was very hard to pick where to eat. place to walk around because you literally have Little Italy and Chinatown right next to each other and there's a few blocks you can walk and you can have both Chinese businesses and the Italian businesses right mixed in together. So much culture and so many cool places to choose from.
After walking all up and down Little Italy, I've finally made my choice. La Bella Vita. This restaurant has the most adorable, beautifully decorated patio. Sold me. And the food was delicious. <laughs>